on the way to Wyoming now. I'm gonna be stopping in Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. It's like a dispersed camping spot, so it should be fun. This is definitely my favorite drive of the trip so far. The terrain is the most interesting out of everywhere I've driven to. I think this is where I'm camping tonight. Let's see what this says. Yep. Now I just gotta find a camp spot out here somewhere. All right, I picked a campsite. I'm gonna be sleeping at a little bit of an angle, but I think it's worth it because of this view. I think I'm gonna have to dip my toes in the water. I think I'm gonna cook the same soup that I did the other night just because it was pretty good and easy to make. As soon as I start to cook, it starts raining. I did a quick outfit change. This is my table for dinner tonight. But I think I'm gonna try and make a fire. It looks like someone left some wood for me. There's all the firewood I just collected. I don't know what these big white things are, but they seem like they would be good to get the fire started. I could probably snap this. Do we think I'm gonna be able to chop this? Probably not, but. Trusting that this tumbleweed is gonna catch on fire. I think if this dies out, I'm giving up. There's a ton of bugs in this one. Maybe this, this one. I think that was four skips. That was a lot of skips. It's raining again. It's been raining all morning, so I'm just waiting for it to die down before I get out. The rain never really stopped. So, I'm just gonna get out of here. at the campground I'm staying at, so I'm gonna get something to 
to feed them with. This is what I got. All right, this is the camp spot. Well, I made it to the Great Salt Lake. I think I'm gonna make some peanut butter jellies. I just went and checked out the water. And I think I'm gonna go for a swim. I'm gonna go in without the gear first to test out the water. It's pretty warm so far. I was wondering why no one brought their fishing gear, why no one was fishing around here. And then I looked it up online and apparently fish can't survive in the lake here because it's too salty. There's a lot of uh, shrimp though apparently. Brine, brine shrimp. No one else was swimming so I felt kind of weird doing it but I figured I'm only here for a day, so might as well. I want to see if you if it's like noticeably if I'm noticeably more buoyant in this lake than the ocean, because it's like I forgot how many times, but like multiple times more salty or saline than the ocean. I'm already out past all the rocks over there. There's a bunch of nasty little bugs on the surface. Time to see if I float. Wow, that's crazy. I actually usually don't float this easily. Yeah, I could do this all day. Look at the view of the mountains back there. Oh man, I'm so glad I got in. If I shift my weight too much, then I stop floating it's too well, but. Wow, look at that view. All right, I'm gonna do a video on super view. I'm not gonna go snorkeling because there's literally nothing in there. But that was one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. If you're ever in Salt Lake City, you gotta go float in the Great Salt Lake. Very cool.